You might not believe this, but I started out with a dog training and animal grooming business, and I loved it. I had to ask myself, how is it possible that I travel the world sharing animal communication and consciousness-based energy medicine with so many professionals in the field of animals? I came to the realization that I'm really good at communicating non-verbally and observing miracles. My passion comes from the huge questions that I have about consciousness, the principles of manifestation, and the co-creation of reality on the earth plane. Is it possible to live as a present observer in a heart-centered, expanded state of awareness in everyday life? Who better to give us information and the experience of this pure state of presence than the animal kingdom? Show me how much more miraculous and amazing can my experience get than this? I had to let go of trying to give in to people about the integrative aspects of consciousness-based energy medicine. I now go to where I'm called to share my experience. Wow, I sure get called to go to a lot of beautiful locations and amazing adventures around the globe. With 33 years experience as an animal professional and 22 years experience studying integrative medicine, Lucia Jacob has worked with diverse cultures, Aboriginal peoples, as well as countless species of animals, wild and domestic, around the globe. Lucia has collaborated with hospitals, universities, public schools, First Nations communities, tribes living in the deep jungles, orphanages, veterinary clinics, zoos, animal sanctuaries, and film companies. Lucia's passion is the exploration of interconnectedness and communication with all sentient beings, and she shares her passion by facilitating experiential journeys and adventures from an awareness, consciousness, energy, and observation-based perspective. Enhance your relationships with your canine companions through the Linking Awareness journey. More recently, the scientific community is rediscovering that there is much more to animal intelligence than ever before imagined. Cutting-edge practitioners of animal communication are promoting the concept of listen to the animals as opposed to talk to the animals. In the Linking Awareness journey created by Lucia Jacob, you learn how to open your awareness of your total environment, from the intercellular to the interdimensional, and as a result, build a deeper relationship with your animal companion. Join Lucia as she explains the process and then guides you through a Linking Awareness journey experience. Hi, I'm Lucia Jacob. I was wanting to give a little bit of a history of my time with the dogs, or the sentient beings we call dogs. Uh, years ago, I took a dog grooming class in Montreal, Canada, and ended up having a dog grooming and training business for over 30 years. Cats as well, by the way. Maybe not as much training the cats. And uh, during all those years, I was pretty interested in the psychology behind uh, pack theory and dogs as predators. And that started to be a part of my training program. Noticing that the first uh, mode of languaging with the dogs was nonverbal, light and energy, uh, telepathic, however we want to say it. And then we would notice something in the eye and then possibly a voice or a sound and then body language. And so uh, I realized that whispering with the dogs was not about their body language, but their body language was validating what was going on, whether it was during my grooming or my training times. Uh, during the grooming times, when I had my hands on the dogs, crazy things started happening. I knew things about them and I knew things about their families. And uh, you got to understand 30 years ago, who should I tell that to? Uh, fortunately, things have changed now. I've also uh, run a Dog 4-H Club for young kids in our area for over eight years in the past, as well as running Dog Agility, Dog Fly Ball, doing presentations with the kids at fairs and county fairs with Agility and Fly Ball, and um, obedience training, as well as uh, competing with my first dog, which was a Chesapeake Bay Retriever called Kiowa. My interest in the dogs now is their level of intuition, whether it's their ability to smell things that humans can't smell, 
or to know things that uh, we don't know, uh, whether it's about something in the past or something in the future, as well as reading our thoughts from a distance. So, of course, our friend Rupert Sheldrake uh, showed that clearly in one of his books, that dogs definitely can pick up on our thoughts at a distance and know when we're thinking about coming home. So this is Ink, and she's from Ireland. She's an Irish girl. My interest with her is her extreme intuition when working with sheep and how she can teach me more in relation to our intuition ourselves as well as working with other animals in the animal kingdom as well as humans. Um, so that's a little bit of a quick overview as the journey continues and now certainly I'm working with all sentient beings whether it's cetaceans, dolphins, whether it's elephants, orangutans, tigers, snakes, uh, I believe everything has a nonverbal voice as well as the cells of the human body. So thanks a lot and Burma, are you trying to get in the picture? Hey, are you trying to get in the picture there? There you go, here you are. We'll tell a little story about Burma later. He is a German pincher and um, he certainly is extremely intuitive and helps with a lot of our healing work out at the ranch at Eagle's Eye Ranch here. So we'll tell a little story about him in a little while. Thanks, Burma. This is um, Burma. His nickname is Peeps because when he was a puppy, he would just leap and peep. So some people call him Peeps and some people call him Burma. I don't even know sometimes how to talk about the level of communication and intuition with some of our dog friends. And certainly this guy continues to teach me because he is really active. He thinks he's a puppy all the time. He loves wrapping himself in blankets. And so often it's so easy to get mad at their behaviors when actually they're using their behaviors like a charades game to try and give us information that they know intuitively. So one of my favorite stories was uh, Burma was running around with one of my son's slippers and playing with it during a time we were training him to chew appropriate things. And so, of course, we wanted to get mad at him for taking the slipper. And uh, I took it away from him and I gave him an, app an appropriate toy to play with. And a few minutes later, my son, uh, Mason, he came downstairs and Burma had his slipper again. <laughs> so... Mason took the slipper from Burma and uh, proceeded to give him an appropriate toy. And a few minutes later, I thought, well, maybe I should practice what I preach and ask Burma, why do you keep taking Mason's slipper? Right? Do you remember that time? Yeah. So when I quieted myself and I connected with him and I said, so what's up with the slipper? What I got back, he sees, you need to talk to Mason because Mason's grandma is going to pass away soon and Mason will be upset. Please talk to him. So I called Mason over and told him what Burma had shown me uh, with imagery and voice and I use all my subtle senses so I get, it, I get information with my thoughts, smell, taste, hearing, seeing, all of that. Anyways, Mason said to me, Mom, that's so crazy because the slipper, that grandma made that slipper for me and she lives in Montreal. That's like a five hour plane ride away. How would Burma know about my grandma? I said, I don't know. Animals know amazing things and they're more than willing to tell us if we'd listen. Well, I guess the moral of the story is about two months later, Mason's grandma passed away, but because of Burma, Mason was prepared for that event. So thanks, right? Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's right. Thanks a lot for listening. One of our gifts as part of this webinar is what uh, Linking Awareness Adventures Inc. calls the Linking Awareness Guided Journey. It's a journey that's on a voice file and it guides you through a process of self-reflection, self-healing, simultaneous to communicating with your dogs. And to be honest, uh, communicating with any aspect of yourself, any form of animals, plants, trees, because everything primarily is light and energy and that's what we're communicating with. We've, uh, well actually we're honored to share with you our guided journey first activation 
So this Linking Awareness Guided Journey Activation Number 1 activates you to frequencies of healing. It uh, supports a way to get into a different state of awareness from your heart-based awareness in order to communicate non-verbally with any and all things, all sentient life. And we know now that it's pretty tough to call our dogs dogs because we know they're actually sentient beings. So to communicate with these sentient beings, using this guided journey is a powerful way to make a stronger connection, to get out of our mind and to uh, allow our awareness or our consciousness actually to drop into this heart-based concept and communicate heart to heart. For me, um, it was really important that there was a form of self-healing for the practitioner so that we learn that we have projections and filters and things that could be in the way of our clear communication. So the more we use this guided uh, journey, the more we're actually clearing our filters and getting a clear connection with the animal kingdom, and uh, in this case, the dogs. Mm. So, Linking Awareness Journey Activation Number One is the beginning of our three-day class, and we're sharing it with you as a gift would like to see you come and do the experiential aspects. We have facilitators all over the world, in Indonesia, in Singapore, in the United States, in Canada, and um, please look at our schedule on our website, because after you listen to this activation, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to come and do the three-day and practice all these different techniques that we're sharing uh, when we work with our dogs in a class. What do you think? Is it a good idea? Okay. More people should communicate non-verbally with their dogs. It's not always easy, right? Especially when you have dogs doing all kinds of behaviors to try and get your attention to show you something, but you think they're being bad dogs, right? Because <laughs> you're good at being a bad dog. But most of the time he's trying to tell us something and we misinterpret his verbal, his non-verbal information because we can't pick it up. And then we misinterpret his behavior as bad behavior because he's so direct. So my hope is that we can uh, acknowledge their behavior, but then take a moment and ask them, why did you do that? And by taking our Linking Awareness journey, three-day experiential, it's a great way to tap into that capacity that I believe we all have. I don't think I have a special gift. Maybe I have some special animals or sentient beings, but I don't have a special gift, but I chose to cultivate it. And in the courses that we're uh, offering, it offers you that ability to cultivate it for yourself. So join us anywhere in the world. We're all over the place. And once you do that class, you can come to adventures and practical classes where we practice the same concepts with everything from elephants to snakes to tigers and um, birds as well as cats and even a lot of our small animals, you know, whether they're hamsters or gerbils, it really doesn't matter. But I want to thank the dog kingdom because they're the ones that really opened this up for me through my grooming business and my training business. They're the ones who made it very clear, help us. And by helping us, you're helping the humans in the family. So this is about integration of human and animal consciousness and a deeper understanding. See you soon. You too? Mm -hmm. Imagine yourself surrounded by Mother Nature and the animals of the entire animal kingdom. Relax and begin with a deep out breath, letting the air out all the way from your lower abdomen below your navel. Take a deep in breath, allowing the fresh oxygen to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Follow your breath as it once again leaves your body, all the way from your pelvic region. 
Again, open this area to the breath that is naturally flowing back into your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area, all the way to the top of your shoulders. For the third breath, gently support all of the air in your system to release all the way to the base of your spine and the lower diaphragm. Follow the breath in as the air naturally rushes to fill your entire body to the top of your head. Continue to breathe fully and naturally. Imagine yourself standing on the natural ground of Mother Earth. Imagine a red elephant emerging from the depths of the Earth, gently moving around you in a spiral, creating a vortex of red-colored energy. This frequency of red is beginning to surround you. Now you sense the power of the red elephant as it is sending red colored energy towards you. Red colored energy enters the tips of your toes. Red is now surrounding your toes and feet, through your ankles, flowing past your calves, into your knees, and creating spirals of red around them. See the red as well as knowing that you can smell, feel, taste, and hear this deep red color as it spirals up along your hamstrings and your quadriceps. Follow the red in and around your hips, melting and swirling through your pelvic region. As the red energy that the elephant is sharing with you passes your navel area, you remember to breathe out and then allow your in-breath to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Breathe. Now notice the color red as it continues to flow through and around the chest region and passes through your thoracic spine and into your shoulders. Follow the red down each arm through and around your triceps and biceps. Notice how relaxed your arms feel as the energy flows like a red stream past your elbows, forearms, and into your wrists, your hands, and now out through the tips of your fingers. Allow the feel of the red energy to come back through your fingers, up your forearms, past your elbows, towards your shoulders. Watch and feel as this red energy flows under your collarbones, searching out all of the tiny muscles and fascia that intertwine together under these bones and feel as the red moves up along the neck. Allow yourself to smell the red, taste the red, hear the sound of the red energy and feel the exchange it creates as it clears and cleanses as it pulses through and around your whole neck area. Now you notice the relief and relaxation within your brain as this lush, deep red flows through the fluids as well as the neurons within your brain. Feel as the multitude of bones that make up your cranium absorb the red energy and allow themselves to release and relax. Feel as the color red flows out and above your head and then follow it as it quickly and gently flows back down like a red waterfall. Past your cranium, brain, neck, through your shoulder and chest area, over and through your abdomen, flowing past your pelvis and hips, your quadriceps, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, flowing over your feet and toes and back into Mother Earth be nourished and nurtured for and with her.
Notice now, as the earth energy comes back towards you as an orange alligator. Imagine an orange alligator emerging from the depths of the earth, gently moving around you in a spiral, creating a vortex of orange colored energy. This frequency of orange is beginning to surround you. Now you sense the power of the orange alligator as it is sending orange colored energy towards you. Orange colored energy enters the tips of your toes. Orange is now surrounding your toes and feet, through your ankles, flowing past your calves, into your knees, and creating spirals of orange around them. See the orange, as well as knowing that you can smell, feel, taste, and hear this deep orange color as it spirals up along your hamstrings and your quadriceps. Follow the orange in and around your hips, melting and swirling through your pelvic region. As the orange energy that the alligator is sharing with you passes your navel area, you remember to breathe out and then allow your in-breath to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Breathe. Now notice the color orange as it continues to flow through and around the chest region and passes through your thoracic spine and into your shoulders. Follow the orange down each arm through and around your triceps and biceps. Notice how relaxed your arms feel as the energy flows like an orange stream past your elbows, forearms, and into your wrists, your hands, and now out through the tips of your fingers. Allow the feel of the orange energy to come back through your fingers, up your forearms, past and through your elbows, towards your shoulders. Watch and feel as this orange energy flows under your collarbones, searching out all of the tiny muscles and fascia that intertwine together under these bones and feel as the orange moves up along the neck. Allow yourself to smell the orange, taste the orange, hear the sound of the orange energy and feel the exchange it creates as it clears and cleanses, as it pulses through and around your whole neck area. Now you notice the relief and relaxation within your brain as this lush, deep orange flows through the fluids as well as the neurons within your brain. Feel as the multitude of bones that make up your cranium absorb the orange energy and allow themselves to release and relax. Feel as the color orange flows out and above your head and then follow it as it quickly and gently flows back down like an orange waterfall past your cranium, brain, neck, through your shoulder and chest area, over and through your abdomen, flowing past your pelvis and hips, your quadriceps, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, flowing over your feet and toes and back into Mother Earth to be nourished and nurtured for and with her. Notice now as the earth energy comes back towards you as a yellow lion. Imagine a yellow lion emerging from the depths of the earth, gently moving around you in a spiral, creating a vortex of yellow colored energy. This frequency of yellow is beginning to surround you. Now you sense the power of the yellow lion 
as it is sending yellow colored energy towards you. Yellow colored energy enters the tips of your toes. Yellow is now surrounding your toes and feet, through your ankles, flowing past your calves, into your knees, and creating spirals of yellow around them. See the yellow as well as knowing that you can smell, feel, taste, and hear this deep yellow color as it spirals up along your hamstrings and your quadriceps. Follow the yellow in and around your hips, melting and swirling through your pelvic region. As the yellow energy that the lion is sharing with you passes your navel area, you remember to breathe out and then allow your in-breath to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Breathe. Now notice the color yellow as it continues to flow through and around the chest region and passes through your thoracic spine and into your shoulders. Follow the yellow down each arm, through and around your triceps and biceps. Notice how relaxed your arms feel as the energy flows like a yellow stream past your elbows, forearms, and into your wrists, your hands, and now out through the tips of your fingers. Allow the feel of the yellow energy to come back through your fingers, up your forearms, past and through your elbows, towards your shoulders. Watch and feel as this yellow energy goes under your collarbones, searching out all of the tiny muscles and fascia that intertwine together under these bones, and feel as the yellow moves up along the neck. Allow yourself to smell the yellow, taste the yellow, hear the sound of the yellow energy, and feel the exchange it creates as it clears and cleanses as it pulses through and around your whole neck area. Now you notice the relief and relaxation within your brain as this lush, deep yellow flows through the fluids as well as the neurons within your brain. Feel as the multitude of bones that make up your cranium absorb the yellow energy and allow themselves to release and relax. Feel as the color yellow flows out and above your head and then follow it as it quickly and gently flows back down like a yellow waterfall. Past your cranium, brain, neck, through your shoulder and chest area, over and through your abdomen, going past your pelvis and hips, your quadriceps, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, flowing over your feet and toes and back into Mother Earth to be nourished and nurtured for and with her. Notice now as the earth energy comes back towards you as a green hummingbird. Imagine a green hummingbird emerging from the depths of the earth, gently moving around you in a spiral, creating a vortex of green colored energy. This frequency of green is beginning to surround you. Now you sense the power of the green hummingbird as it is sending green colored energy towards you. Green colored energy enters the tips of your toes. Green is now surrounding your toes and feet, through your ankles, flowing past your calves, into your knees, and creating spirals of green around them. See the green, as well as knowing that you can smell, feel, taste, and hear this deep green color as it spirals up along your hamstrings and your quadriceps. Follow the green in and around your hips, melting and swirling through your pelvic region. As the green energy that the hummingbird is sharing with you passes your navel area, 
you remember to breathe out. And then allow your in-breath to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Breathe. Now notice the color green as it continues to flow through and around the chest region and passes through your thoracic spine and into your shoulders. Follow the green down each arm, through, and around your triceps and biceps. Notice how relaxed your arms feel as the energy flows like a green stream past your elbows, forearms, and into your wrists, your hands, and now out through the tips of your fingers. Allow the feel of the green energy to come back through your fingers, up your forearms, past and through your elbows, towards your shoulders. Watch and feel as this green energy flows under your collarbones, searching out all of the tiny muscles and fascia that intertwine together under these bones, and feel as the green moves up along the neck. Allow yourself to smell the green, taste the green, hear the sound of the green energy, and feel the exchange it creates as it clears and cleanses, as it pulses through and around your whole neck area. Now you notice the relief and relaxation within your brain as this lush, deep green flows through the fluids as well as the neurons within your brain. Feel as the multitude of bones that make up your cranium absorb the green energy and allow themselves to release and relax. Feel as the color green flows out and above your head and then follow it as it quickly and gently flows back down like a green waterfall past your cranium, brain, neck, through your shoulder and chest area, over and through your abdomen, flowing past your pelvis and hips, your quadriceps, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, flowing over your feet and toes, and back into Mother Earth to be nourished and nurtured for and with her. Notice now as the earth energy comes back towards you as a blue whale. Imagine a blue whale emerging from the depths of the earth. Gently moving around you in a spiral, creating a vortex of blue colored energy. This frequency of blue is beginning to surround you. Now you sense the power of the blue whale as it is sending blue colored energy towards you. Blue colored energy enters the tips of your toes. Blue is now surrounding your toes and feet, through your ankles, going past your calves into your knees and creating spirals of blue around them. See the blue, as well as knowing that you can smell, feel, taste, and hear this deep blue color as it spirals up along your hamstrings and your quadriceps. Follow the blue in and around your hips, melting and swirling through your pelvic region. As the blue energy that the whale is sharing with you passes your navel area, you remember to breathe out and allow your in-breath to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Breathe. Now notice the color of the blue as it continues to flow through and around the chest region and passes through your thoracic spine and into your shoulders. Follow the blue down each arm, through and around your triceps and biceps. Notice how relaxed your arms feel as the energy flows like a blue stream past your elbows, forearms, and into your wrists, your hands, and now out through the tips of your fingers. 
Allow the feel of the blue energy to come back through your fingers, up your forearms, past and through your elbows towards your shoulders. Watch and feel as this blue energy flows under your collarbones, searching out all of the tiny muscles and fascia that intertwine together under these bones, and feel as the blue moves up along the neck. Allow yourself to smell the blue, taste the blue, hear the sound of the blue energy, and feel the exchange it creates as it clears and cleanses, as it pulses through and around your whole neck area. Now you notice the relief and relaxation within your brain as this lush, deep blue flows through the fluids as well as the neurons within your brain. Feel as the multitude of bones that make up your cranium absorb the blue energy and allow themselves to release and relax. Feel as the color blue flows out and above your head and then follow it as it quickly and gently flows back down like a blue waterfall past your cranium, brain, neck, through your shoulder and chest area, over and through your abdomen, going past your pelvis and hips, your quadriceps, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, going over your feet and toes and back into Mother Earth to be nourished and nurtured for and with her. Notice now as the earth energy comes back towards you as an indigo eagle. Imagine an indigo eagle emerging from the depths of the earth, gently moving around you in a spiral, creating a vortex of indigo colored energy. This frequency of indigo is beginning to surround you. Now you sense the power of the indigo eagle as it is sending indigo colored energy towards you. Indigo colored energy enters the tips of your toes. Indigo is now surrounding your toes and feet. Through your ankles, going past your calves, into your knees, and creating spirals of indigo around them. See the indigo as well as knowing that you can smell, feel, taste, and hear this deep indigo color as it spirals up along your hamstrings and your quadriceps. Follow the indigo in and around your hips, melting and swirling through your pelvic region. As the indigo energy that the eagle is sharing with you passes your navel area, you remember to breathe out, and then allow your in-breath to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Breathe. Now notice the color indigo as it continues to flow through and around the chest region and passes through your thoracic spine and into your shoulders. Follow the indigo down each arm through and around your triceps and biceps. Notice how relaxed your arms feel as the energy flows like an indigo stream past your elbows, forearms and into your wrists, your hands and now out through the tips of your fingers. Allow the feel of the indigo energy to come back through your fingers, up your forearms, past and through your elbows, towards your shoulders. Watch and feel as this indigo energy goes under your collarbones, searching out all of the tiny muscles and fascia that intertwine together under these bones, and feel as the indigo moves up along the neck. Allow yourself to smell the indigo, taste the indigo, hear the sound of the indigo energy, and feel the exchange it creates as it clears and cleanses, as it pulses through and around your whole neck area. Now you notice the relief and relaxation within your brain as this lush, deep indigo flows through the fluids as well as the neurons within your brain. Feel as the multitude of bones that make up your cranium absorb the indigo energy and allow themselves to release and relax. 
feel as the color indigo flows out and above your head and then follow it as it quickly and gently flows back down like an indigo waterfall past your cranium, brain, neck, through your shoulder and chest area, over and through your abdomen, flowing past your pelvis and hips, your quadriceps, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, flowing over your feet and toes and back into Mother Earth to be nourished and nurtured for and with her. Notice now as the earth energy comes back towards you as a violet herd of horses. Imagine a violet herd of horses emerging from the depths of the earth, gently moving around you in a spiral, creating a vortex of violet colored energy. This frequency of violet is beginning to surround you. Now you sense the power of the violet horses as they are sending violet colored energy towards you. Violet colored energy enters the tips of your toes. Violet is now surrounding your toes and feet, through your ankles, flowing past your calves into your knees and creating spirals of violet around them. See the violet as well as knowing that you can smell, feel, taste and hear this deep violet color as it spirals up along your hamstrings and your quadriceps. Follow the violet in and around your hips, melting and swirling through your pelvic region. As the violet energy that the forces are sharing with you passes your navel area, you remember to breathe out and then allow your in-breath to naturally fill your abdomen, diaphragm, and chest area. Breathe. Notice the color violet as it continues to flow through and around the chest region and passes through your thoracic spine and into your shoulders. Follow the violet down each arm, through and around your triceps and biceps. Notice how relaxed your arms feel as the energy flows like a violet stream past your elbows, forearms and into your wrists, your hands and now out through the tips of your fingers. Allow the feel of the violet energy to come back through your fingers, up your forearms, past and through your elbows, towards your shoulders. Watch and feel as this violet energy flows under your collarbones, searching out all of the tiny muscles and fascia that intertwine together under these bones, and feel as the violet moves up along the neck. Allow yourself to smell the violet, taste the violet, hear the sound of the violet energy and feel the exchange it creates as it clears and cleanses as it pulses through and around your whole neck area. Now you notice the relief and relaxation within your brain as this lush, deep violet flows through all of the neurons as well as the fluids within your brain. Feel as the multitude of bones that make up your cranium absorb the violet energy and allow themselves to release and relax. Feel as the color violet flows out and above your head and then follow it as it quickly and gently flows back down like a violet waterfall. Past your cranium, brain, neck, through your shoulder and chest area, over and through your abdomen, flowing past your pelvis and hips, your quadriceps, hamstrings, knees, calves, ankles, flowing over your feet and toes and back into Mother Earth to be nourished and nurtured for and with her. Notice now as the Earth energy comes back towards you as a rainbow dolphin. Imagine yourself merging with the rainbow dolphin. As you look around, 
you see a clear blue ocean. Feel yourself as a rainbow dolphin that is now submerged in the adamantine blue ocean. You are racing and spinning as you swim through the clear blue water in your rainbow dolphin body. Look off into the distance. You may see an island or it may be a mainland. Swim towards the land. As your chest reaches the land, your flippers begin to extend into hands and arms. As you pull yourself up onto the shore, you feel your feet forming underneath you. You stand up and look at yourself. You can see, feel, smell, taste, and hear your new transformed rainbow light body. As you begin to walk along the shore in your new rainbow light body, you notice a rock pathway. Alongside the rock pathway, there is a well. Walk over to the well. In the well, there is a fire made up of a powerful violet flame. In your mind's eye, collect any thoughts, worries, concerns that have been weighing heavy on your mind. Let them all go into the violet flame. Feel all of your worries, concerns, and any heavy thoughts melting away as the violet flame engulfs them. You notice how light and blissful you feel. Look past the well. You see another rock pathway. Look down the rock pathway and notice three large rock steps. Walk along the rock pathway until you get to the top of the three stairs. Walk down the three steps. Three, two, one. At the bottom of the stairs, you see a crystal clear pool of water and a distant waterfall. In the crystal clear pool of water, you see a male narwhal with a long tusk. The narwhal is your guide to the waterfall. But first, you must give the narwhal your secret password. Take a moment now to share the secret password with the narwhal so you will both remember. As you step into the crystal clear pool of water, the narwhal joins you and guides you as you swim together to the waterfall. Your feet touch the sand on the bottom of the pool and you walk the rest of the way to the waterfall in your rainbow light body. Pause and stand underneath the waterfall and beginning with an out breath, take three deep breaths. Breathing out and in. Out and in. Out and in. As you breathe, feel the water cleansing you and washing away any residual negative frequencies. As you step out from behind the waterfall, you notice three steps down to a tunnel. Step on the first stair. Notice the sacred blue Min Min lights throughout the tunnel. These lights float around the tunnel and guide you to your communication cave. Continue down the last two steps. Two, one. The Min Min come into your communication cave with you and will be available to help you at any given time that you ask. Continue walking down the tunnel until you see the opening to your cave. Greeting you is a raccoon. One of the raccoon's gifts is the recognition of masks as raccoon is the ultimate mask wearer. Stand as the raccoon washes and cleans you to remove any false masks, 
beliefs, ideas, attitudes, and or filters that stand in your way of clear, congruent, heart-based, intercellular communication. As you look and feel around your cave, you notice nature tools to help your subtle senses in clear communication. To your left is a crystal clear pool of water, so calm that it creates a mirror. You will be using this pool of water to get images and movies from the animals, nature, and or any other sentient beings. Along the shore of the pool of water, you see a flat rock, and on that rock is a conch shell. You can pick up this conch shell at any time and put it to your ear to hear animals, nature, and or any other sentient beings more clearly. To your right, you notice a golden plant growing from the walls of the cave. Dripping from this plant is a golden nectar. This nectar has the potential of taking on the taste of anything the animals, nature, and or any other sentient beings want to experience. All you have to do is sip on the nectar to experience the taste that is being shared with you. Laying on the ground, you see an old hollow ram's horn with the end broken off. You can put this up to your nose to amplify the experience of the smell that the animals, nature, and or any other sentient beings wish to share with you. Along the right-hand shore of the pool of water, you see a small opening in the ground. As you walk towards the opening, you notice that it is full of silvery blue clay. Immerse your hands and wrists into the clay and allow the clay to create a beautiful, soft energy field that will amplify your subtle sense of touch that the animals in nature and or any other sentient beings love to share with you and or feel from you. This newfound sense of touch will allow you to feel any energy field, body part, internal or external system of any sentient being. The silvery blue aspect of the hands also gives you the ability to heal as the animal's nature and or any other sentient beings allow you to touch them. Look around the cave and notice an inner waterfall. This is where the sentient being enter after having come through their own tunnel with the Min Min. They pass through the healing, cleansing waterfall to communicate with you. Any sentient being that doesn't give permission for you to communicate with them will not enter through this waterfall. Therefore, if you call any sentient being in and they do not enter, it is only because they don't wish to communicate with you at this time. Remember, you can invite any sentient being into your communication cave. When any sentient being enters via the waterfall, the first thing you will do is send a ray of rainbow light from the heart area of your rainbow light body. It is only after you have created a heart connection that you will begin to communicate by sending and receiving information along this rainbow heart beam.
now that you've experienced your new communication key, remember to thank the sentient being from your heart space when you have finished interacting with them. And ask the sentient being to leave via the inner waterfall back from where they came. Once the sentient being has left, thank the raccoon at the mouth of your tunnel. Follow the Min Min as they surround, nurture, and guide you through the tunnel back towards the three steps at the far end of the tunnel. Walk up the steps. One, two, three. Towards the waterfall. Pause and stand underneath the waterfall. Breathe out and take three deep breaths. Feel the water cleansing you and washing away any residual negative frequencies. Step back into the crystal clear pool of water as the narwhal guides you back to the steps at the other edge of the crystal clear pool of water. Walk up the three steps. One, two, three. Follow the rock pathway past the well down to the shore. Enter the clear blue water and swim through the ocean back 